new owners, um, have you had a chance to speak to them yet about their vision and, and where you fit in to the future at this club? Yeah, definitely had a chance to talk to them. And uh, I must say that uh, um, the long journey we had to find a new owner was uh, successful, hopefully one. I think it was uh, um, immediately a very good communication with them. And they're good people. They know about football. They know about the business. And they will help us in the future to find uh, yeah quicker solutions and quicker uh, chances for uh, yeah doing the right things in this market. I guess for fans, what they want to know and when they hear a takeover and new investment is how much to spend, how can we strengthen our squads, how can we see them go up the table? What, what have you been told about how much you might be able to spend, not just short term, but long term as well? What, how different might this squad look in six months, a year, two years time? Um, it's not, uh, and this is what I, I understand, that fans are always talking about how much they want to spend uh, uh, because this is the only thing they they need to to see from, from a new owner. Um, I see it a little bit different. Uh, we get a lot of knowledge. We get also uh, the chance to, to be, as I said, earlier in our signings, definitely, but that doesn't mean that we change our behavior. So we don't go now out on the market and buy everything what is around there and available for us. It doesn't make any sense. We want to pick the players, the Livramentos, the Brochas uh, that are around there. And this new owner gives us the chance to get these guys earlier, maybe also in this winter, although they are coming only in summer. So we can go very early for these players. And uh, this is what we want to have. In the past, it was uh, very often that we had first had to sell players before we could sign new players because we had no no chance to get them earlier and this will change now massively and that doesn't mean that we are now going for every player that is that is available for us and just tell us about the cup then this year where you are in the table your performances in the premier league so far it's it means you look very safe it means does it that you can have a really good crack at at the cup this season yeah we had also last season at the time of the year uh, to make the decision how, how serious we want to take the, the cup. Uh, we have been in a similar good position like last year uh, or like like this season, a little bit more points we had last year. And the problem was last year that we had um, not just a big squad. So we it was a big risk to go for the cup, but we, we reached the semi-final and it was a big success for the club, I think, and all. Uh, this season we have a, a, wide, a bigger squad and definitely more opportunities and sure it's an, an, a, again a, a big target for us every season it's the shortest way to 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 get a title to to be a winner and uh, yes we we want to to grab our chance like like every year I, I can't imagine it's very easy to prepare for Swansea because I don't don't know if they know who they've got available. They haven't played since December the 11th, so there's nothing recent to watch. If ever there was a game when it was all about your own level of performance, this is probably it, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You're right. Uh, it was not easy to prepare for this game. Uh, you never know what what team you you're facing now, and and uh, yeah. But uh, even more important it is to concentrate on your own strength and and. Uh, um, we have also had a game postponed what we would like to play because it would fit perfect to the rhythm. You know that you as a manager, you, you, you have your plan over this busy Christmas schedule and exactly balancing uh, what player gets what chances to play, how we did in the last two games, but this dis uh, disrupts now everything that we couldn't play the Newcastle game. So we have to re really look what, what players should have a chance to play now. We have a few injuries, a few Covid cases, so uh, but it all still players. They are coming back and want to play. Uh, what is the fitness of the squad like, Ralph? You had some problems previously before the Newcastle game, and of course you've got to balance uh, Saturday with Tuesday massive game against Brentford. Yeah, we have uh, with Tino Livermento with small point two players still out with injury. Uh, we have with um, Kyle Walker Peters new Covid case, uh, Thierry Small and Shea Adams still uh, three Covid cases. Um, against uh, Tottenham at five, uh, but uh, still played, and uh, we will also no, not not uh, hoping to to get more cases. Uh, this is um, you never know, but uh, at the moment we are with these players out, and uh, Sally uh, suspension for the weekend, so this is also.